What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and I am back in this video for you guys, bringing you guys another JTAG reset glitch hack tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install emulators on your JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360. The emulators I will be covering in this video in particular are SNES 360 and along with the Genesis 360 emulators. Those are exactly as they sound, a Sega Genesis emulator and a Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Entertainment System emulator that I believe can play other Nintendo games as well. I will have a video in the future on how to install more complex emulators like PlayStation 1, the original Xbox, all those good things too. Let's play all your classic old retro favorite games. Alrighty guys, I'm going to cover just these two emulators here. The process will be very similar for other emulators as well. However, if you're wanting to play original Xbox games, PlayStation 2 games, or PlayStation 1 games, then I will make a different tutorial in the future showing you guys how you can do that. Alrighty guys, so to get this started, you're going to need to download the emulators that you want. Uh, in this case, I have SNES 360 and Genesis 360. I'm running a beta version and an alpha version of these uh, just because I found these to work with my console whereas the stable versions for some reason uh, do not work. There will be download links in the description below on where you can get the beta, alpha, stable, nightly builds, all that good stuff. If you don't know what that means, get the stable version. If you know what it means, then get whichever one you feel you want or need. But like I said, if you don't know what that means, then get the stable version. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to download these. After you have them downloaded, you want to create a folder on your desktop, and you want to give that the name of the emulator. In this case, I have SNES 360 folder and a Genesis 360 folder. We're just going to open up the archive here in 7-zip. And we are going to drag these files into our folder here. And we're just going to do that for both of these here. Now, we can just go ahead and delete these files right here. And we have our two folders right here. We have our SNES 360 and our Genesis 360 folders here. If we go ahead and open it up, you notice that we have the uh, archive extracted out here. So I'm going to start with the SNES 360 as that is the easiest one. First thing you want to do is you want to download a ROM. In this case, I have Doom for the SNES. We'll go ahead and open up the archive. In this SFC file, you just want to drag it into your ROMs folder. So you want to drag your SFC files, which would be your ROMs. You want to drag that into the ROMs folder, and you'll have your ROMs in there. Now that we are done with our SNES 360 here, I'll go ahead and show you guys Genesis 360 here. So for Genesis 360, you want to download a Sega Genesis ROM. In this case, I have Doom right here for the Sega Genesis. I'll go ahead and open up this archive here. As you notice with uh, some Sega Genesis ROMs, uh, even Nintendo ROMs as well, you'll see that we have an E and a JU. Pretty much the E is for English, uh, J would be Japanese. These are pretty much your regions. You may not have that. Not every ROM does. Uh, just the source that I get my ROMs from will include all the languages of that game available. So we want to drag the E since we are in English. Uh, Japan, if you're in Japan, of course, using the Japanese language. And you want to drag that uh, .32x file. You want to drag that into the Gen ROMs folder. So go ahead and drag the Japanese one up there too. And as you can see right here, our .32x files here, which would be our Sega Genesis ROMs, we want to leave it in the Gen ROMs folder. Alrighty guys, now that we have our ROMs loaded into our emulators here, we have our emulators in the folder here, we just want to go ahead and we want to transfer these two folders onto our JTAG Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360. You can do this through uh, Xbox 360 Neighborhood, you can do it through FTP, you can do it through SSH uh, if you have that available. You can do it through USB drive, it does not matter. In this case, I'm going to be showing you guys Xbox 360 Neighborhood here. We'll go to our JTAG here. Wait for it to load here.
And once we're in here, we will go to the volume HDD1. You want to go to your hard drive. Once we're on our hard drive here, you just want to create a new folder and name that folder Emulators. As you can see, I already have that folder there. Once we're in this folder here that we just created, you want to drag these two folders onto our Xbox 360. I've already done that here, as you can see. And in the future, if you just want to load in more ROMs, you can go to SNES, uh, go to ROMs, and you can add in more ROMs there. Same with Genesis 360. If you want to add in more Sega Genesis ROMs, go to our Gen ROMs folder, and we can add in more .32x files here, which would be the ROMs for our Sega Genesis. So now that we have those transferred onto our JTAG to reset glitch check Xbox 360, we're going to go ahead and go to our JTAG to reset glitch check Xbox 360, and I will see you guys on the Xbox 360. Alrighty guys, now that we're on our Xbox 360 here, the first thing we want to do is we want to go up to our utilities, go to our file manager here. Once we're on our file manager here, just go to our hard drive one. In our hard drive one, we're just gonna make sure that those files got copied over in our emulators folder here. We can go ahead and back out once we're backed out here. If you're in Freestyle Dash uh, 3, or if you're in Aurora, you will need to configure it to where you can launch those XCX files. So you want to go to your setup, and you want to go into settings here. Once we're in settings, just go down to content settings for Freestyle Dash. We can go to uh, manage game paths. Once we're in here, we can add a game path, change path, and you want to find those XCX files. As you can see, I already have these down here. They're already added in for me. So we're just going to back out here. We'll go to our library once again, and we will go over to emulators here in Freestyle Dash, and we'll go ahead and load up our emulators. Once we're in emulator here, you can see that we have our Genesis 360 emulator, along with our SNES 360 emulator. I'll go ahead and load this up for you. And if it asks to select a storage device, just go ahead and select the hard drive. That's pretty much where it's going to look for your ROM files. So if you have them on a USB flash drive, you can use the USB flash drive as well if you have the respective folders created. Uh, I'm running the alpha version, so favorites is not available for me. Uh, but we can go to games here, and you see that we have the ROM right there. And that's our emulator right there. Anyways, guys, that's how you enjoy, or that's how you install emu emulators on your JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have a future video in the coming weeks that will show you guys how you can install PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and original Xbox emulators on your Xbox 360. So you can play original Xbox games, PlayStation 1 games, and PlayStation 2 games on your JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please come back for future videos. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.